Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying your beard program. So here is the introduction of the course Pedagogy of Science. This course is one of the two teaching subjects. Dear learners, in this course, our focus is to give you an idea about nature of science and its place in the school curriculum. We also discuss about the ways which you can adopt for the development of scientific temper among your learners. This course also talks about appropriate approaches for teaching learning of science and integrating suitable learning resources which are available with you to facilitate the learning in science. As you progress in the course, you will also learn how to construct assessment tool for assessing learners progress in science and in two blocks of the course, you will also get an opportunity to revisit few important concepts of science and how you can integrate them in teaching learning. So dear learners, if you go through the course structure, the first block of the course, Understanding Science, basically discusses about the historical development of science education, specifically in India, perspectives and nature of science, then science as a process of inquiry, then scientific attitude and scientific temper, and also scientific process skills. Whereas in block two, if you go through the block two, teaching learning of science, there we are talking about content planning and integration in 5e model, then teaching learning approaches and methods, then inclusion in science classroom, and also how you can identify different learning resources which you can use in your teaching learning. And the block also discusses about different tools and techniques for assessment. The block 3 of the course is content based methodology and same as block 4. In these two blocks we have selected some content from secondary level curriculum of science. In block 3 we have covered themes like food, material, living world and how things works. And in block 4 we have covered things like moving things, people and ideas, natural phenomena and natural resources. Under these thematical topics we discuss about certain concepts how you can teach those concepts in your classroom, what teaching learning strategy you will adopt, how will you design learning experiences, all these things have been discussed in these two blocks. These two blocks basically focus on content based methodology. Let us discuss a little bit about different units of the course. The first unit is science, its perspective and nature. In this unit, we are discussing about meaning and nature of science. Then there are some common myths related to nature of science. What is the process of scientific inquiry? Then what place science has in the society? And what kind of value system can be developed through teaching learning of science? So all these aspects have been discussed in unit one. The unit two is aims and objectives of science teaching learning. So in this unit, we talks about aims and objectives of science teaching, then learning objectives is specifically based on Anderson and Kirtwal taxonomy, then shift in pedagogical approach from behaviorism to constructivism and changing nature of teaching learning of science. The unit three of the course is process skills in science. This unit basically talks about developing scientific skills among learners, develop scientific attitude and scientific temper, then developing aesthetic sense while learning science and the interdependent of science as a body of knowledge, a way of thinking and as a process of inquiry. The unit four of the course talks about science in school curriculum. So how science education has developed in India? What are the issues related to teaching of science which have been mentioned in National Curriculum Framework 2005? Then status of science education in India, what are recent curricular changes in science and what are differences in science curriculum at various stages like elementary stage, secondary stage 
and senior secondary stage. Unit also discusses about integration of science with other pedagogical subjects which you or other teachers teach in same class. Unit 5 of the course is focusing on organizing teaching learning experiences. So in this unit, we discuss how you can link the process skills with content, how you can formulate learning objectives, how you can use concept map as a tool for unit planning, how you can develop lesson plans based on 5e approach, and how can you use laboratory for effective instruction. Unit 6 of the course, Approaches in Science Teaching Learning. In this, we talk about inquiry approach, problem solving approach, cooperative learning approach, concept mapping, and along with it, we also discuss how as a teacher you can adopt appropriate approach for teaching learning in science. Unit 7 of the course is focusing on methods in science teaching learning. So here in this unit, we talk about different learner-centric methods, some teacher-centric methods, cooperative learning methods, and how you can make your science classroom inclusive. And also, we discuss about adopting critical pedagogy in a science classroom. The unit 8, learning resources in science, talks about how to select appropriate learning resource, then what are various traditional learning resources, then how you can use classroom as a learning resource, then how you can adopt various ICT resources, and what are different innovations in science teaching learning, and also it discusses about opportunities for professional development for science teachers. The unit 9 of the course talks about assessment. You can see that in this unit, the focus is on nature of assessment in science, designing different assessment tools and assessment indicators for various process skills, then using variety of assessment tools, then diagnostic testing in science and its importance, and what are different schemes which are promoting scientific attitude among learners. From unit 10, we shift our focus. This unit talks about different components of food, then types of nutrition among plants and animals, then role of various microorganisms in nutrition, then what are the techniques and processes for getting higher yields of crops, and also unit talk about animal husbandry, including cattle and poultry farming and fresh production. As I have already told you, the focus is not on the content as such, the focus is how you will deal with this content in your classroom. Unit 11 is discussing about material. So here we talk about the status of matter and their characteristics, concept of equivalence, mole and valency, various chemical reactions, basic metallurgical processes, Whereas in unit 12, we shift our focus to the living world. So in this unit, we talk about diversity seen in the organic world, then what is the cell and its functions, then different living process like respiration, circulation, and transportation, etc. have been discussed in this unit. The unit 13 of the course talks about how things work, basically energy, electricity, and all. So various electric devices, the theoretical underpinning and basic principles of electricity, then combination of resistors and electric power, then magnetic effect and its reverse effect, then current in a conductor, and electric motors and electric generators. So these topics are again being discussed in the light of their methodology along with the content. Unit 14 talks about moving things, people, and ideas. So in this unit, we talk about body at a state of rest or in motion, then different kinds of forces, then Newton's law of motion along with the conservation of momentum, then frictional force and pressure, then different forms of energy. So all these topics along with the sound and role of human ear in hearing have been discussed in this unit. Similarly, unit 15 talks about natural phenomenon. In this unit, we have discussed about conservation of water bodies, natural disasters, waste management, light as an important natural phenomena, concept of refraction and reflection. And the last unit of the course is on natural resources. 
So in this unit, we are talking about physical resources and their utilization, ways to manage natural resources, the biogeochemical cycles, also the legal perspective related to conservation of nature. So the whole course you can see is divided into two parts. First part is focusing on pedagogical principles and second part means block three and block four are focusing on content based methodology. As you all know that our study material is available in e-form at eGyankosh. You can download it from www.egyankosh.ac.in or you can view it on your mobile phone by downloading our e-content app from Android. So our suggestion is that please read carefully, don't jump sections, try to read at least one section in one sitting and use marginal space to jot down important points and points for further clarification or extra study. We also suggest you that after completing one section, attempt the check your progress and other questions for self-reflection, compare your answers with the possible answers given at the end of the unit and reread the content if required. You utilize the methods, process and resources suggested for your teaching learning and attend the counseling to clarify your queries and doubts. So dear learners, be ready to explore the world of science and become a great science teacher. Thank you very much.